That's always about good TV. That's day one of the AIM State Championship up here on Lake of the Woods. And fishing's been a little, a little, a lot different, not a little different. Uh, these fish are really spread out. We really haven't found an area that we think we can just get five in one small spot. So we're probably gonna see us jumping around quite a bit. Uh, we've got an area of stake down and our plan of attack is really just to stick in that area, grind it out all day long to get those five big bites. And we're seeing weights a lot of times up here in the high 40s, low 50s per a day to win this stuff. I just don't think it's gonna take that this time. I think you're low to mid 30s. If you can do that two days in a row, you're gonna be walking away pretty, pretty darn good. That's not saying that it can't happen because these fish are out here and Someone's gonna get them and hopefully it's us. These, these fish are not reacting, they're not schooling up, they're not in big giant pods like you'd normally see them out here. So we'll see how it goes. Well, day one is over. Uh, a pretty eventful day to be honest. We went out hoping for somewhere in that 30 pound mark. Uh, we did, we got 30.16. Uh, it's been tough. You guys have heard it from other anglers, from us. Somebody whacked 40, I guarantee that. I mean, it's they had to have, but that bite's been off. On top of that, we had some really good footage for you guys that kind of got lost. I was gonna change a battery, forgot to change a battery, took off, boom, camera gone. So, our three bigs are gone, but I did put another card in there. You got to see the wild weather. We had a heck of a swell or a, a big wind come up out there. We were 27 miles offshore, off, off from here and uh, we had to fight them back for sure. Uh, hard rain, wind, but that's tournament fishing. That's why we do, that's why we drive and wear and use the best equipment out here because you never know tournament fishing what you're gonna get. So big winds like this on a big lake like this, it comes up pretty hard, pretty fast. Overall, I'm satisfied with the day. Uh, this lake has been really fickle lately. Uh, you can get a couple good ones and uh, go from there. So. I really truly think 30 plus change a little bit won't be such a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, we'll talk more back at the room and kind of go over what all happened today. But as you can see, we got a giant rainstorm bearing down on us. If you look down the river, you can't even see the next resort. Morning guys, it's day two of the AIM championship for the state of Minnesota up here at Lake of the Woods. We ended up in third place with our weight yesterday, which was a little better than we thought that shows us how tough fishing is. There's 70 really good guys that, a lot of guys have put up lots of big weights on this lake before, so uh, but we were kind of running into an issue. So we don't know if we're fishing the river or the lake today, it's gusting. It's like 20 some gusting to 36, supposed to pick up gusting dang near 50. So this lake, if anybody's been on this lake knows that it gets nasty real quick. So we're, we're kind of waiting to see what tournament director Danny Fox has to say. And we got to roll with the punches. Uh, if, if, if he calls it to the river, it's going to be a whole new ball game because uh, the river is something that we didn't pre-fish a lot, uh, have some knowledge on over the years, but water's low and don't really know what to expect. So kind of anxious to see where he keeps us. We're sitting in third place and obviously we'd love to keep that to get to the national title. Uh, but we got a whole day of fishing yet and anything can happen when you and fishing's been that tough where even if we go to the lake there's no guarantees of any sort so we're gonna go get her done as best as we can today if they hope they hold us to the river you're gonna it's gonna be very interesting it's gonna be interesting to see what a guy can pull out of the river see if he opens up that lake we're going on the lake so 
we're gonna go do what we need to do. There's no way he'll block it on the river today. Um, championship, last day, he's sending us. I mean, we're all grown adults out here. We're going after a win here, so I think he's gonna send us out there. The wind's gonna blow. Um, hopefully as it turns to the west, you know, that long point area is gonna get blocked, so guys are gonna be able to fish that whole south shore like they did yesterday. It's just gonna be a matter of who gets the right bites today. I hope I get more of those like yesterday. Oh yeah. They're there. They're there. Together, you'll be right there. Oh, they're there. We had them cracked. Today's the new day, Denny. That's right. You're waiting. You're going to go out there and get 82 pounds. I'm going to. Well, here we are, day two. AIM Championship, Lake of the Woods. So far, I only have a broken trolling motor. So you could say things are looking okay so far. Uh, she's a little sporty out there. We're looking at gusts of 40 today. But I think we're going to be able to get out there right away this morning. So hopefully, we can just go get five and make it in safe. And that's pretty much our plan today. Boat number 64, Kyle Jasperson, Brad Johnson. I don't need no one, I don't need no one. Coming up, boat number 50, Mike Olgood, Bob Lancer. They are going out in third. Hey, how's it going out there? So we just launched the Mercury Marine Minnesota State Championship Day 2 right here at Wheeler's Point Landing for Lake of the Woods. Gonna be a bit sporty out there today. The wind's blowing from the south, southwest. Gonna switch a little bit west as the day goes along but it is gonna be in the 15 to 25 mile an hour mark. There's gonna be some gusts out there as well, so the teams are ready, they're prepared. They all went out to the lake this morning. 43 pounds was leading by nine pounds yesterday. Let's see what happens today. Five spots for the national championship are on the line. We've got two warriors that are pushing to be in that, so it should be a fun day. Stay tuned. Well, we just got in here after day two. Uh, it's gusting about 40 out there, it's almost, I bet you it's blowing straight 40 right now, not just gusting, it's straight 40. Uh, probably took us about an hour to get six miles, but uh, we made her in and you know, our trolling motor was broke yesterday, but it stayed uh, where we needed it to stay today. Uh, we didn't break any kick motors off, we didn't break any glass, nothing broke, we made it in one piece. Caught five fish, well, we caught more fish, we caught five in a cart, but uh, Hopefully it's enough to get us to national. We'll find out here later at five o'clock. As you can probably hear, the wind's ripping. One of those days where you get out there and you fish and you do the best you can on a day like today and just try to keep boat control. Uh, we tried troughing them, we tried going with them, did a little bit of everything. Honestly, to be 100% honest going out this morning, I thought if we could get 20 pounds, we'd be in good shape. We did, we got 21.77, I think is what we ended with. Um, I'm not upset with that at all. Uh, this lake is fishing tough. Uh, and then you add 30, 40 mile an hour wind gusts on top of that. And uh, yeah, uh, but we stuck it out for the whole day. Uh, we had one fish, a 14 incher, we couldn't get off the card, but I'll take it. Uh, we'll see where it all lands. This is one of the, another one of those tournaments where tough fishing is gonna be one of those things that, uh, yeah, in the end we might be surprised where we end up. Thank you guys for tuning in this year. This is the last stop for the AIM, and uh, we had a blast filming it. We're gonna do bigger and better next year. Find out who won all the money. Find out who's going to get the big money next year. We got it all right here in my pocket. It was very close, it took a little while. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna bring up your 2021 national champions, Tyler Wolden and Nate Leininger. One last time, gentlemen. Get They already got the boat, they already got the plaques, they already got the money, but now they got garage fodder to hang up. They had a grand total. This is where the top five starts at. You're gonna know if you're in there or not. They had a grand total of 45.26 pounds of fish. In fifth place, Good for $1,700 and a berth to the national championship. I got Dan Baker and Sean Lura. All right, fourth place. Fourth place is good for $2,500. Yesterday, they brought us in 28.7, or 
21.91 pounds of fish. Today, they upped that to 28.71. They had a grand total of 50.62 pounds of fish. In fourth place, good for $2,500, plus third place in the side pot for $640, it's Jeff Haney. <laughs> Jeff holds you at Andy Haney. <laughs> <laughs> came in yesterday they were pushing the top of the heap they wanted a piece of the pie they caught good fish yesterday they caught not quite as good a fish today check this out yesterday third place had 30.16 pounds of fish today they had 21.77 they totaled 51.93 pounds of fish. Third place is good for $3,500. They're also gonna take second place in the side pot. It's boat number 50. Oh yeah, by the way, that's a warrior boat number 50. That's five, four, three in warriors. Mike Olson, Bob Wagner. Obviously, things were a little bit different out there today. Did you make adjustments on the water and location? What did you do, Mike? Uh, yesterday, we went far north and fished, and we knew we weren't going to be able to do that two days in a row. Uh, so we went for broke yesterday, and it worked out for us, uh, knowing that we were going to have to fish this end of the lake if you, if you let us out today. Congratulations, hey, you're on for pictures. You punched your ticket to the national championship. <laughs> Second place. It's good for $5,000. Good payday. Yesterday, they came in with 24.91 pounds of fish. Today, they added a big fat basket of 28.24 pounds of fish. They totaled over the two days, 53.15 pounds of fish. Second place, Good for $5,000, it's boat number 19, Scott Burton, Travis Huffman. Huffman. <laughs> All right, first place. They took off this morning with the lead. They had 43.02 pounds of fish. And just to make you feel real bad, today they went out and put on 45.6 pounds of fish. A grand total of 88.62 pounds of fish. First place is good for $10,000 of your hard-earned money. In first place, fittingly, it's boat number one, Tom Wynn, Nate Wolski. things it is is that uh, for years I watched my uncle fish tournaments and he's one of the reasons I wanted to fish tournaments because I thought it was so cool that he would go out and get to fish these but at the time I thought they were the biggest tournaments on white earth different lakes around the area and so one of the reasons I wanted to start fishing tournaments was because of this guy so to be able to share the boat and two years in a row we're, we top 10 in this tournament we made the national championship for next year which is pretty darn cool and uh, we did it on one of the toughest bites I've ever been a part of on this lake. And, and honestly, my grandpa, his great-grandfather, was a walleye nut. And if he could be here today and see this, he would be so proud. And that's why family means a lot. It's a lot to us. Yes, I'm Tom Wynn. This is Nate Wolski. We just got off the uh, AIM Championship win on Lake of the Woods, and uh, we couldn't be more pleased with the results. We First time up here, four days or so of free fishing, and we, you know, stumbled, stumbled on some good fish, and we are, you know, using techniques a little different for walleyes, and, um, you know, what that is is remain to be seen, but um, we both dedicate a ton of time outside of our businesses and families to do this, so we gotta keep as much stuff close to us as possible. But yeah, we couldn't be happier with uh, what 
88 and some pounds in two days. It's insane. If you would have told me that before we got here, no way. I would have. <laughs> but yeah, couldn't do it without this guy. And I couldn't do it without this guy. Yep. So I guess it's a good team. Guys, that's a wrap for this year's AIM series. Thank you for following along all year long. What a crazy year it's been. You know, we jumped in this. We wanted you guys to follow us all the way through, and I'll be the first to admit, didn't turn the camera on as much as I probably should have. Lost a camera here on Lake of the Woods that had some really good footage. You just got to trust me on that. Uh, it had most of our day yesterday on there, what we were doing, how we were doing it. What a crazy ending to a year. You know, we come into a tournament like this, we didn't have a chance to make the national championship via points. Uh, we, I fished with three different people this year, and I want to thank those guys for sure. Uh, but... You know, uh, couldn't ask honestly to end it any better. Third place, uh, got a lot of people to thank. A lot of come first off, my family. Uh, thank you guys for you know, always just supporting what what I love to do. And honestly, any any guy that does what we're doing out here, fishing these tournaments and putting a lot of effort into it, especially you know fishing the AIM or the NWT like we have in the past, and it's a uh, crazy and I want to thank you guys for following along and and supporting us along the way it's cool to to come to all these stops and everybody talking about how much they like with the insight you're giving them and and everything else goes along with it. but most importantly I want to thank uh, the the people that are behind what do all this we got Thor behind the camera uh, we couldn't all do it so warrior boats Suzuki motors Garmin electronics Kovash marine uh, wave pro it's uh, Oh, man, those wave pros were 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 absolutely a necessity uh, the last couple days. We run these boats hard, uh, and it, anything you ask it to do, those things they they do for you. And so, uh, Savage rods. We got a new line of trolling rods that are out. Go check those out. We got 10 sixes, eight sixes. I know this seems like a commercial right now, but this is all really vital to being a successful out there on the waters, having equipment that stands up every day. AFCO, yesterday we were in torrential rainfalls, uh, but kept us warm and dry, fished through it. And uh, yeah, we ended up third, third place, and we're going to the national championship next year. So I say this series is over, but it's not, because we'll see you at the national championship next year. Yeah, baby.